Hello guys, who here, back with another video. This time around, we are talking about what happened to Shadow Towers, where all the rewards, what is now left at the Shadow Towers, and how are you going to get your weekly rewards now that Shadow Towers is basically got it. So on Trovisaurus, we are today because there's, it gives you a very nice overview. It's also linked in the description. So I thank you again, Shadow, uh, sorry, Shadow Towers. I was about to say thank you, Shadow Towers, but thank you to Trovisaurus for providing this information and making it a lot easier for me to, uh, you know, talk about the stuff and giving a little bit more context to what actually is going on and how you're going to do that. Because there was some confusion, uh, you know, during the last week because of uh, you know, and everything is new and where are you going to get all these things and whatnot. So first of all, I want to say Luna Souls, Titan Souls and Despoiled Divinities are not gone from the game at all. They're just all moved to the Delves. So if that was the information we're looking for, now you know where it is. But I'm going to talk a little bit more about right now. So the Shadow Tower bosses are now a lot easier to do. Uh, there's still the batches out there. So if you're looking for completing the batches, which I'm still uh, working on, uh, you can still enter all of these shadow towers. You're not going to go through each level uh, as we used to, you know, doing three levels and then it was the boss. Uh, now you're going to spawn directly into the boss room and basically you're just going to defeat the boss. It's going to cost you a lot more to go in there, but it's not a good way to farm uh, items uh, and stuff like that because it's going to cost you 5,000 to go into, for example, the Ultra version. And there is going to be a chest as you defeat the first time. Uh, it's going to drop a few, maybe uh, Stellar, maybe some Shadow, whatever, like random chests would do just by doing a dungeon. So it's not, it's not a good way to farm currency or anything like that. It's basically just to get these batches done. And with that said, I really hope that they were going to still going to implement like for all the other bosses. Now that it's so easy to access, you know, add just some mastery to that. I've, I wanted to that forever to actually have batches as there is for, uh, you know, uh, the Dreadnought and also for the Hydra. I wish there was for all the other bosses as well. But now it's maybe it's going to be a, just a chore. But yeah, basically you can then reset the boss if you want to do so. If you want to, you know, uh, do him again, just do that. And there's not going to be a box after you defeated the second time. So you can just keep being there and just go, 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 go and, and get your uh, batches grinded out if you haven't done so. And of course, there's not going to be any Lunar Souls and Titan Souls. That is all in the Delves. So there's a bunch of stuff that I just talked about. They have written it all down here. Uh, some of it is in the uh, kind of uh, more highlighted text. So you know what it is. As it says here, it's 500 for the normal ones. It's 2,500 2, for the hot version and 5,000 for the ultra version and you don't uh, like it says right here after 45 uh, sorry after 45 seconds you can reset the boss and basically you can do him again and there's not going to be anything you can you don't get any rewards or anything like that at all but it does say that you can get the uh you know your chaos chest it does uh it does count as a do in a dungeon so you can do your chaos chests in there if you want to do that but it's pretty simple but i guess i wanted to mention that because they said it right here so how are you going to get your, you know, Titan Souls, your Lunar Souls, your Despoiled Divinities? Well, you're going to go into Delve and it's a lot simpler now because all you have to do is do Delve. You have to do 18 floors of Delve. It doesn't matter what floor you're on. It doesn't, it doesn't give you more the higher you go. It's just do uh, whatever Delve level you can do. You can do it by yourself or you can do it with some friends and you just have to run 18 floors. And it does show a little picture here of the box you have to open. So every floor has uh, like a box in the middle, like a chest. It's like an oversized box. <laughs> that one is not going to contain it. But every third floor is going to have this shadowy soul vault. And you this, this is where you need your Delve shadow keys. And you can get Delve shadow keys all over the place. But you do have to have one of those to open this shadowy soul vo uh, vault. And that's going to contain, uh, you know, five rewards of uh you know titan assault and then one reward of uh, luna luna souls and Dispoil divinities just like we used to before where we you know we, we did spike walker that gave us the you know a first you know titan souls and then then you know uh, weaving prophet was giving us the next uh, titan souls and so on and so on so uh, you do three floors you get titan souls three floors titan souls three floors titan souls and so on and so on until you've done 18 floors in total or levels i guess uh, of uh, delve, and then you are going to get your all your rewards are basically uh, done. So uh, of course, you again you have to make sure that you open this chest. You, if you do do three floors, 
uh, you just, you, this box, box is going to appear and then you are going to open it and then you get the reward. So just clarifying exactly that you don't get them automatically unless you have a key to open this box. And you just hold that button down if you have one of the keys and you're gonna open it. There's also a mold, as it's called. There's also a place where you can craft the keys when everything spawns. There's also a personal chest, there's some guys, uh, there's, a, there's also a loot collector and stuff. Basically everything you need uh, to open this box is available to you. So even if you forgot your, you know, your keys in your, you know, personal chest, then it's going to, you know, there's going to be a personal chest you can open and then you can open uh, the, the box and get your Lunar Souls or, uh, you know, Titan Souls or your Despoiled Divinities, depending on uh, what it is. And again, Mondays does not do anything for the Lunar Souls or the Titan Souls. That's nothing to do with it anymore. The only thing you get is extra crystals, I think it is, and extra... Uh, shadow shards and extra of the uh, uh, the geode currency. That's what you get extra. So you're always going to, no matter what day you do it on, you're going to get the same amount of souls and the same amount of uh, uh, caches. As it says right here, you do the first event that's going to give you 18 and then some shadow caches and, and so on and so on. Um, it does say depending on the uh, thing on the uh, on the depth i don't think that that has anything to do with the you know the soul i think it it is only it's, so the further you are down the more shadow caches you are going to get doesn't have anything to do with the the souls itself so yeah that's all i wanted to say and again the boss um Sometimes you're gonna get, you know, uh, what's it called, Dot the Moon, and sometimes you're gonna get uh, Spike Walker and stuff like that. Doesn't matter what boss you defeat, it just matters how many floors you've done. So, you know, doing 18, uh, you know, is going to, to do so. And uh, lastly, down here, this is, of course, the key fragments. It's just showing you uh, this is one of the molds that actually shows up so you can craft it. And it's just showing you the keys down here, but I don't wanna mention that too much, but uh, yeah. Also, of course, if you have old keys or fragments, remember to, uh, you know, uh, craft them into uh, the new keys. Uh, I don't know what exactly the time you have for it, but I would do it as you can. Oh, it's planned to current. Okay, so so in about a year, in, in 2021, then it's going to remove all the old fragments are going to be removed. And I guess you can see that's additional to related to that's that's the Monday now, the Delve Day, instead of calling it Shadow Tower Day. It's now extra crystals, shadow shards, and jute, as I said. And also you're gonna get binding darkness in there, the star fragment. Everything there was in the shadow towers is is now in you know in the delves. So basically uh, we can call uh, we can call delves shadow towers 2.0, I guess we can call it like that. But yeah. That was what I wanted to say. I hope that cleared up some information or some some stuff people were not, you know, rem was not unsure of. Basically, I just wanted to mention it and make a video about it. I hope I made it clear enough when I said it. I said it a bunch of times. I'm sorry, but I just wanted to make sure that I was coming out and saying it completely in as many ways as I could to make sure that people don't buy like, oh, how am I actually going to get these keys? You didn't say that, woohoo! But I'm. I really, really tried my best to explain it as much as I could. But if there is any questions at all, uh, make sure you put them in the comments and I will happily, happily, uh, you know, answer them for you. But uh, these are good changes to the Shadow Towers. I really like it. Uh, and of course, if you see one of my old videos, I actually said that, hey, this is what I wanted for Trove. And it's actually amazing. I love the Delves. The Delves is amazing. And I have a lot of plans to do all sorts of content with it in the future but that's enough about that that was not really the point of the video that's just personal stuff but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video which if you did make sure you like and subscribe helps me out very much and also sends you know makes youtube uh send this video out to more people and we can get the information out there so people know what is going on so anyways again thank you so much for watching and i will catch you in the next one